Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHompson.com and today I have an exciting announcement to make. We have been hiding something for a few weeks now and I feel like it's finally time to tell you all that we are pregnant again. <laughs> This was a very, very surprise baby. We were really trying not to get pregnant, but apparently we are very fertile, which is a blessing. And, and I probably need to figure out my uh, cycles better. <laughs> but we are so excited about this baby. Even though it was a surprise, it was all in God's timing. And I, you know, I can always take another cute little baby because that is just something I will always be excited about, no matter how much we did want to wait. It's just, Babies are such a blessing, and I do really enjoy being pregnant, and I love having newborns and kids, so this is just very exciting for me. The story of how we found out is actually kind of funny, because on one Sunday, before Christmas, we went to church, and my sister-in-law was telling me that she had this dream that I got pregnant, and she was upset with me because we were all going to do the gap set together in January, and if I got pregnant, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And so she was upset with me in her dream, which was really funny. I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant, that's ridiculous. And then during that next week, I realized that I was five days late for my period. So I took a pregnancy test and it was a very, very faint positive. And so I took another one and it was the same. It had a line, but it was very faint. I was, I know that any line at all means positive, no matter how faint it is. It doesn't have to be just as dark as a, as a test line. Here are all my pregnancy tests that I took. It was a lot of fun to do since I had a really faint one at first, do one every day and see how they got darker and darker. So here are the ones I did the first day. And you can see how faint that is, but there's definitely a line there. And then this is the next day, and the next day, and so on and so forth. And you can see this last one is so dark, it's like even darker than the test strip. So that was pretty cool to see them get darker and darker, and I am clearly pregnant. So I was like, oh my gosh. Rochelle totally predicted that I was pregnant, which is crazy. And then the next Sunday they actually guessed that I was again, which was also crazy. So they must just have some sort of intuition about my pregnancies. <laughs> but, but yeah, we found out before Christmas. So it's been like a month and a half since we found out. And we've just been slowly telling people, telling all of our close family first, and then just telling friends as we see them. And so I, enough of the... So enough of the people know now that I decided I wanted to do a pregnancy announcement on YouTube because I know last time during Dimmy's pregnancy how much I love doing pregnancy updates on YouTube and I know you guys love them as well. They're some of my most viewed videos. So I just wanted to be able to do that again. So there's also a lot of things that are that have been going on with my health that I just wanted to be able to talk to you guys about. And it's just like been hard to not say anything on YouTube or Instagram because I just want to talk about it all the time. So. It actually feels really weird to be able to talk about it right now because it's been something I've had to really consciously think about not saying anything about. So right now I'm about 10 weeks. Last week I had my first midwife appointment and everything went perfectly well. I guess I'll do this kind of as my pregnancy announcement and my like 10, or I guess it would be my nine week update because we went on my nine week update. So it'll be kind of a announcement and update all at once. But it was really nice to see Sandano again. I feel like I always miss her. After she's done checking up on us, after the baby's born, she comes out a few more times. But I just miss her. Like she's really fun to talk to. When you have a midwife, you just have a different relationship with them than you do with the doctor. So I was really excited to see her again and we talked for like an hour and a half. But it was really nice to hear the baby's heartbeat on the, on the little Doppler because for some reason I've been having this weird thing where I'm like, am I really pregnant? Because this pregnancy has been quite different from either of my other ones. And I'm also just so busy that I don't even remember all the time that I'm pregnant. So it was just really nice to have that hear the heartbeat, know that they're doing at least good right then. I was measuring right at the nine weeks, which I know that isn't super important, but it's still fun to do. I probably won't have very many other Doppler checks during my whole pregnancy because I've been doing more research on ultrasound and just that technology is the same as the Doppler. Even though you're not seeing the picture, you're still hearing the audio. So I'll probably only do it maybe two or three times out, out of my whole pregnancy. 
because if I, especially once I'm feeling the baby kick, I'll know more that the baby's fine and I'll just go based on my intuition more. But I've been having a lot of nausea. I feel like now it's like barely starting to get better. I feel like I'm not quite as useless as I have been the last month or so. But for the first little while, like a couple weeks, I was having vertigo with my nausea, which was really not fun. I would get like super dizzy and I'd have to sit down and it would make me feel like I was gonna throw up so it would make the nausea happen. And then I also was having this like just chronic headache behind, it felt like it was behind my eyeballs. And then when I would move my eyes, I would get like, the room would spin, like it was totally like vertigo. So that was really annoying. But that has passed now. I'm not having the vertigo anymore, just a little bit of nausea. So I'm thankful that that's over with because I much prefer just the regular nausea. <laughs> my body does feel pretty depleted because my pregnancies have all been really back to back. We were planning on waiting until Demi was a year and a half old or so before we got pregnant again, but he was nine months old. <laughs> so we did make it three months further than last time. Sophia and Demi will be 15 months apart and these two will be 18 months apart. So. You know, I just wish that one of the times I could make it to at least a year. I'm just feeling like tired. I've been having some tooth problems with this pregnancy. Just like cavities getting worse and they said I need a root canal, which I don't know how you, if you guys know how I feel about root canals. My thyroid has been high still. It does normally go down with my pregnancies, but it's like getting there, but it's just going down slower. I have struggled with kidney stones between these pregnancies and then bladder infections caused by the kidney stones. So I just feel like my body is very tired. Just for that reason, I was a little bit disappointed at first when we found out I was pregnant because I was just like excited about doing the GAPS diet and getting my health back on track. But you know, it was God's will and he's not gonna give me anything more than I can handle. My body will be fine with three back-to-back -back pregnancies and then I really want to get, you know, our timing method or contraceptive method figured out so that we can wait one to two years. Like I want to just have a big gap so I can heal all the way. But even though I'm feeling kind of tired and down about that stuff, I'm still just so excited about having another baby. Like as soon as Demi was like two months old, I was like, I just need another baby. And I've been like having terrible baby fever ever since. So it's kind of like a good and bad. <laughs> so yeah, because of that, I have been weaning Demi. One interesting thing is my milk supply hasn't gone down this time. When I got pregnant with Demi, and I was still breastfeeding Sophia. My, that's kind of how I found out I was pregnant with my milk supply just dropped suddenly. And this time, my milk supply was keeping up like perfectly fine. But just because of all the stress in my body, I was like, I feel like I just need to wean him and not have the, my body have to make milk as well as growing a baby and keeping myself alive. So he's down to two feedings and it's a little bit sad. I always hate when they stop breastfeeding, but he is 11 months old now. He's almost a year, which is crazy. Let's do a quick belly shot as well. I can't believe I'm doing belly shots again. And I feel like I've gotten so much bigger this time, just so much faster. I know each time your body already knows what to do, so it just you just get huge right away. But you can see that for 10 weeks, this is a nice bump. I feel like it took me a lot longer to get to this point. And it's the morning right now, so, and I also, haven't eaten very much so it looks really small compared to like this evening it will be huge it'll just be really big i feel like i always grow like out like a torpedo instead of like more up and down like a lot of women do so i'm excited to have a bump again and it's getting there <laughs> it's not really noticeable enough at all for people to ask if i'm pregnant yet but that'll be exciting when i get to that point so yeah that is our announcement so I'm just really excited that you guys know now and I'm going to start doing probably every other week updates for a while. I've been feeling pretty sick, so you've probably noticed that I've been off of YouTube for weeks. I've just been so inconsistent and I just cannot bring myself to do work stuff. Especially since we're probably training the toddler also. I know I always throw so many things on my plate all at once. That's just kind of my tendency. But anyway, I'm excited that you guys know and make sure if you're new, you subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a lot of pregnancy and motherhood stuff coming up, obviously. <laughs> and head over to my blog, wilsonhomestead.com because that's where I do the majority of my stuff. I do a lot more stuff than just YouTube. So head over there to see what all of what we're up to. But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.